Today, I just wanted to share with everybody a survey that Disney Cruise Line is putting out on their website. It's about uh, future or potential day at sea themed cruises. Disney Cruise Line is asking guests if they are interested or not interested in 15 different themes, if you will. Right off the top, four of the themes are current offerings, Halloween on the high seas, very merry time for uh, the Christmas holidays, uh, Marvel Day at Sea, and Star Wars Day at Sea. Pixar-themed cruises were also mentioned as one of the 15 uh, themes. And if you remember back to 2012, there were four Pixar cruises on the Disney Wonder uh, on back-to-back-to-back-to-back seven-night California Coast cruises. A whole bunch of uh, Pixar activities involved, special guests and whatnot. In uh, movie screenings. In fact, to this day, the Disney Wonder still has, you know, unique Pixar character moments and entertainment on board, such as the Pixar Pals party and the various meet and greets with the characters. So those are kind of the recent current offerings that are still available to book, you know, except for the Pixar cruises. Uh, The next 10 themes that were presented in this survey uh, kind of run a range, uh, beginning with Walt Disney World at Sea. You know, bringing the magic of the theme parks on board with activities representing each park at Walt Disney World with uh, entertainment, character encounters, and specialty activities. All right. Uh, Disney Broadway at Sea. And this one's pretty interesting because it suggests that they're going to bring a touring Disney on Broadway show on board, you know, for a stage show is how I'm reading into this one. I mean, it seems like a great idea to really create a uh, some unique evening entertainment on a rotating schedule you know kind of drive you back for those repeat you know get you back on repeat cruises for sure with a different bro- you know the traveling broadway shows or off broadway and you know uh, another one that really piqued my interest was the international food and wine theme who doesn't love epcot's international food and wine festival it's fun take that to the sea you know kind of have a all-inclusive all-inclusive uh food portion of it uh at least you know with some you know wine add-ons here and there maybe buy a wine cart or something who knows i think possibilities there are pretty interesting you know have little mini booths set up in cabanas or you know and after hours or the other adult areas across the fleet for the wine side of things a disney music theme where they invite past broadway singers and musicians on board from perform classic Disney songs in a live concert show. That's kind of been done, or, or that's kind of being done already with the uh, Disney uh, Broadway star set sail kind of thing, or on the, you know, longer sailings or some unique itineraries they're bringing on somebody from Broadway to, you know, do a little concert in the, as part of the evening entertainment. I mean, we recently went to one. Those are great shows. Uh, so that's, you know, that's one of those are, if you read into it, it's kind of something they're already doing on select sailings now. Uh, but nonetheless, it's a nice addition. Disney animation theme. Uh, guests can celebrate the love of Disney's animated films, past and present. Enjoying themed entertainment seminars, character moments, and specialty offerings. That's a lot like some of those D23 special events. Uh, almost a couple of these themes could be you know, co-branded as D23 events. Anyway, another option is Disney's Heroes vs. Villains theme. Embark on a cruise that seeks to find once and for all who is the fairest of them all, heroes or villains. Your family can enjoy an array of entertainment, character moments, and other activities centered around this Disney's goodest goodies and baddest baddies. I'm, a couple years ago, they were doing those uh, villains events at Hollywood Studios. Uh, kind of take a little bit of that, bring those some of those more rare villains to the ships and do something opposite the heroes. could be inter- interesting. A Mickey Mouse theme cruise. Celebrate everyone's favorite mouse for a magical birthday extravaganza unlike any other. Join your Disney pals on board to celebrate Mickey with limited time entertainment, character moments, and delicious birthday treats the entire family can enjoy together. Okay. In my mind, it's almost like each cruise is already a Mickey Mouse-themed cruise with, you know, Mickey taking center stage 
in most mo- most pivotal moments. Disney through the decades theme. Take your family on a cruise that celebrates the magic of Disney movies, both animated favorites and live action classics. Guests will be able to enjoy themed entertainment, character moments, and specialty offerings on board. Kind of get into the boilerplate of these themes. It's kind of makes me think of those TMC uh, movie nights that they've done. Almost, you know, a Disney-centric version of the TCM cruise that uh, had been hosted or held on the uh, Fantasy and Magic a few years ago. But this could be an offshoot of that in a way where it's just focused on the Disney stuff. Disney franchises. I could see where that would be a draw. Those TCM cruises were definitely popular among that crowd. Disney Princess and Pirates theme. Gather your crew for a celebration of princesses and pirates on board where you the family can go from a royal tea party to a swashbuckling adventure filled with themed entertainment character moments and specialty offerings. In a way, that already kind of seems like Pirate Night-ish. And then if you think back, years back to Magic Kingdom, the uh, Mickey's Princess and Pirate Party, the hard ticket event they had, uh, kind of something like that. In a way, you can all, I think you could almost transition the Pirate Night into a Disney Princess and Pirates Night extravaganza at sea or something. I don't know. I'm now mumbling. And then the last option, which is kind of funny considering what milestone just occurred at the end of July, Disney's Disney Cruise Line's 25th anniversary theme cruise, or cruises, however they're angling this. Join Disney Cruise Line in commemorating 25 years of sailing the high seas with magical celebration, including unique entertainment, character moments, and other specialty offerings on board. Personally, I found this a little interesting because on July 30th, the Disney Magic celebrated her 20th anniversary of her maiden voyage and with pretty much little little to no fanfare from, you know, official Disney channels. Uh, nothing was mentioned on the Par- Disney Parks blog or the social media channels. Uh, you could see online cast and crew were kind of had their celebrations. There was some stuff up. Uh, I saw pictures of the T-shirts, 20 Magical Year shirts, but... It was kind of like almost forgotten about. I mean, it wasn't well celebrated, I guess, across, you know, Disney properties like they would traditionally celebrate other like park birthdays, anniversaries and such. Oh, well. Thanks for letting me vent. That's been bothering me. Oh, and if you didn't check it out, a good friend of ours, MJ, shared a treasure trove of documents from the Disney Magic's maiden voyage in, uh, on July 30th, 1998. Uh, we, so far, we've uh, posted the personal navigators and some other handouts from that cruise. I still have some more in that treasure trove to get, you know, posted online, some cool stuff that she shared with us. So uh, stay tuned for that, or depend on when you're listening to that, go look for that article. Anyway, I think some of these themes are really good. You know, summer, in my mind, are better suited for recurrent events or seasonal events along the lines of like the Frozen Day at Sea or the Day of Frozen Fun that's being offered on the mat. It's been offered on the Magic and Wonder where it's kind of frozen esque throughout the day. And, you know, there's the scavenger hunt and then you have the, you know, the deck stage show in the evening. Uh, I can see kind of some of these falling into that category more than a Day at Sea experience specifically along the lines of Marvel Day at Sea, Star Wars Day at Sea, where those are really destination days, in my opinion, because your entire, it's almost like a port day on the ship, trying to fit in all the activities surrounding, you know, the the Marvel and Star Wars franchises. The Halloween and Christmas offerings are, you know, spread out throughout the cruise, so that's not as immersive of a single day. It's more of an overall, you know, backdrop to your cruise. Uh, But I don't know. I think it's kind of cool that at least Disney Cruise Line's reaching out to uh, kind of get some guest feedback for potential offerings in the future. Uh, along this, in the survey, you know, once everybody went through the, uh, you know, 
whether you're interested in this or not. A follow-up question was asked for the ones that get our users responded that they were interested in. Would you be more likely to sale? Would you not impact your decision to sale? Or would be less likely to sale for, you know, each of those if if they were offered? Um, I don't know. Love to know what you think about these potential themes. Would any of them make you more or less likely to book a Disney cruise? Let us know.